Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. Now today you're like, Ashley, it's a Monday, but it's not a classic movie. What's going on here? Well, y'all know I've added sequels into the rotation and voted on by patrons. They said that no other sequel's gonna win until I get through Harry Potter. So I've decided the last Monday of every month, or however it is to fall, will be completing Harry Potter until we vote on some new sequels. And then maybe it might be Lord of the Rings or it might be Airplane or something like that. You see what I mean? So anyways, today is Harry Potter 6. I think we're almost done with Harry Potter, right? There's six or seven. I think the last movie's in two parts, right? Am I right? Something like that. Anyways, today's shirt, it's not Harry Potter, but it's the queen of my life. Dolly Parton. So much happened in the last one, and I say this in every intro, every outro of all the movies, Harry Potter films that I've seen thus far, I love how every movie keeps getting darker, keeps getting, you know, as the kids became adults, it's like the movies went from kid movies to adult movies. You know, I mean, they killed Sirius in the last film. They killed that other guy in the film before that with Voldemort. Like, what started out as cute, fun wizardry, Leviosa has now turned into So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Like the, the movies maturing as well. I also don't really know how we complete a series like this. I don't know, you know, does this end with Harry and Hermione and Ron, like everybody graduating and Voldemort's just kind of this ever omnipresent force that comes and goes th with time because you know we found out through the last movie that the Minister of Magic which I hope he got fired and is never to return along with Umbridge that you know the Minister of Magic was like he's back. I feel like every movie something goes wrong Harry has to fix it Harry gets in trouble then he's justified and now that the Ministry of Magic has seen that Voldemort is back we are in danger here at Hogwarts like I don't know this it's like every movie keeps building and building and building to this climax and and uh, I'm excited. My friend Kayla says the sixth movie is her favorite. A lot of you guys on like Twitter and Instagram said that the sixth movie is your favorite. And I'm just really excited to see why. Oh, so this is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Half-Blood. Does that mean muggle and wizard? But that's a mud blood. Prince of what? Prince of who? From where? I don't know, but like I said, I'm excited to keep going. I'm excited to see how this ends. I'm not trying to rush it. I'm just excited to see how this all resolves. And then of course, as the characters get older, there's also some love interests coming into the movies. And y'all know I'm a sucker for a good love story. So we throw in a little bit of kissing every now and then. Ah! Action kissing. Magic. All right, anyways, no more diddle, I'm in a weird mood. No more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. <laughs> you already know I'm excited, a little spooky intro. Darker storm, dark clouds. I love it. Oh no, all the newspaper coverage about, you know, Voldemort being confirmed that he's back and Ministry of Magic and the Half-Blood Prince. I don't know what that means. We're clearly in the muggle world because they're dressed too normal to be wizards. <laughs> oh yeah, and this was a problem because the Dementors were in the muggle world and that's how all this started with Harry. Death Eaters? Taking a hostage? Now I feel like we're breaking a lot of rules. Wreaking havoc in the muggle world. No, you're just crazy. It's not a magical paper. That's not real. That'd be weird, huh? That's when I get up. Oh! Whoa! I just got done saying that I was excited about some love interests. And boy, how did this movie just start off with one? Uh... Hey, Dumbledore. What are, what are you doing here, buddy? Well, unpleasant to be held, isn't it? Dumbledore, what happened to your hand? Just and <laughs> now you must be wondering why I brought you here. If he's not, I am. Actually, sir, after all these years, I just sort of go with it. Good for Harry. Look at me, I got a love story and a horror story all in the first 10 minutes. That's a blood drop. That. No thanks. No thank you. Was that necessary, Dumbledore? <laughs> I need to disfigure me, Elvis. What in the world? Horace Slughorn. Horace. Okay, weird first impression to make, but one to make. Oh, that's what I need. That's what I need. I need a wand that I'd just be like, I gotta clean the house. 
Whoosh. Oh, let it go. You're stepping on it. Your mother was one of my absolute favorites. Really? Tell me more. Regulus Black. No, his older brother, Sirius. Regulus and Sirius? Do you mind if I take this? Why? I do love knitting patterns. Everyone should have a hobby. Horace, if the Death Eaters are after you, I feel like you'd be safest at Hogwarts, baby. Professor Slughorn is going to try to collect you, Harry. For what? What do you mean, collect them? Like, teach them? I don't understand. You couldn't have evaporated him into a dry spot. Plot twist? Plot twist? Harry and Ginny together. I like that. Anyway, that stepped in. Told us she was being balmy in. Okay, so not everybody's on high alert. Not just the students. Dumbledore's got a bit old. What rubbish. Well, he's only... He's been old. <laughs> 150? Give or take a... Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's a joke or if that's for real. I don't know if wizards live longer. Oh my God. I was kind of hoping we were done with him. Peter Pettigrew. If the Dark Lord has forbidden it, you ought not to speak. But... Why are you meeting with bad people, Snape? So well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards. What? Make the unbreakable vow. The unbreakable vow? This is so tense. Watch over Home. I thought Snape was a good guy this whole time. Carry out the deed. To kill Harry? To kill Harry? I'm assuming it's to kill Harry because what else has Voldemort got going on? You know what I mean? Also, Draco's mama is very pretty. Did they, did George and Fred open their own store? Or do they just happen to work here? Are you not currently dating Dean Thomas? Ginny is with someone already? Oh, honestly, you know what? He's very cute. If that was him, he's very cute. Wow, there are so many flirtation ships in this movie. <laughs> Is that person okay? They're talking to a wall. Is this some kind of group meeting? Probably, oh, probably with Draco and all the Death Eaters, I bet. Okay, this movie's big stressful so far. Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. Okay. Harry, it's way more than that, baby. You just don't know it yet. His father is a Death Eater. It only makes sense. His father is a Death Eater that got arrested and now Draco needs to take his place. That's a very important thing that you're leaving out, Harry. <laughs> Harry, what's your plan for this? Why'd you smoke bomb him? I my time in charms class next year. Draco has changed a lot. Like his face has changed. He looks so different. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, that scared me. Whoa! So Harry was hiding and listening. <laughs> Holy shit! Harry did not just get got like that. Hello, Harry. Linda, how do you know where I was? Luna really comes in handy when I least expect it, if I'm honest with you. It's like being with a friend. Oh, I have a friend here. <laughs> I was gonna say, aren't y'all friends? Names? I was going to say, do you have to ask Harry Potter what his name is? What is that? All right. An electric fence. Got it. Snape, I am sincerely shocked. Oh. Mm, the snap. They didn't have to add that sound effect in there. Will you stop eating? This friend is missing. What if it's stress eating? Okay, the owl coming to life when someone's at the podium. Love it. Each and every one of you was searched upon your arrival here tonight. I'm so scared. Tom Riddle. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see where we're going. Dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle. So now we have an electric fence and security? Now, oh, off to bed. <laughs> what? No, you can't say this ominous speech and then be like, sweet dreams. Take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. <laughs> Ron also kind of looks a little high. Wrong Weezy, sir. Gone dead awful at both. Oh, look at Hermione looking at that other girl. Oh. The ideas what these might be. Potions. How y'all gonna fight over the newness of a book? It ain't that serious, y'all. It's rumored to smell differently to each person according to what attracts them. Oh. Spearmint. Toothpaste. 
spearmint toothpaste like Ron said was on her face at the Weasley home. Liquid luck. So you got a luck potion and a love potion on the table together. All of your endeavors succeed. Draco, don't be looking like that. See, who's the half-blood prince? Crush it with blade. Oh! Seems like Harry's gonna win that luck potion. That poor guy. Something always goes wrong with his little potions every year. Beans juice. So perfect, I dare say one drop of You mean to tell me you got a dangerous love potion, a luck potion, and a death potion all in the same room with these crazy kids? I need to know about that. I notice you spend a great deal of time with Miss Granger. Uh, listen, Dumbledore, same baby. I've been saying the same thing. On the day I first met him, I'd like you to see it. Okay, let's do it. An orphanage? I can make things move without touching them. Okay, yeah, he's a wizard. Prove it. Uh, yeah, um, yep, yep, that'll prove it. I believe you. Dumbledore recruited Tom Riddle? Uh, I wouldn't say whispering snakes is like the best omen. I know, I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time. Yeah, did you know that? If I had, I... Would have left his ass in the orphanage. <laughs> Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. Do you want me to let him? Yes. Wow. So many layers happening in this movie right now. Okay, so all of Hogwarts has a shield around it. I feel like maybe that should have been in place, like, in the first movie. But I guess you learn as you go. Okay, maybe he doesn't look that different. Maybe it's just puberty, you know? What did he just find? That big mirror that Harry found? Shut it! Okay, Jenny, geez. It's that redhead coming out, that's what that is. Ron, why do you look so goofy? This needs to be quick, agile. Uh, yeah, I think he's those things. I think you could introduce me to your friend Granger. <gasps> oh! oh, goodness gracious. You know what, this sixth movie is shaping up to be my favorite so far, and I'm only like an hour-ish in, if even that. Okay, so he's actually real good. That sucks for Ron. Oh! Ron has a different tactic, but successful nevertheless. Okay, Hermione helping out her original boo. I see you, girl. Unconventional, but successful. I want that on my tombstone. <laughs> now, Ginny, don't, whose side are you on? I couldn't find a reference anywhere to the half blood prince. Well, sounds like we gotta ask Dumbledore. Butterbeer. I hear that's a big thing at like Universe or Disney, wherever uni uh, uh, Harry Potter Universe is, wherever that's at. I hear butter beer is like a big thing. Oh, Jenny! Get it to a girl. Oh, she got into it. She looked in here as though you study me, which expects her to guess up. But that's the difference. Ron would never snuggle you or whatever you said. Would you be gay? You'd be welcome too, Granger. Uh, what about Ron? Good to see you all and me. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Is that a dead body? Is... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the actual... Okay, that... Big scary. Big scary! Very well, thank you, Leanne. You may go. A necklace kills people? When something happens, it is always you three. <laughs> That's a great question, girl. I've been asking myself the same question for six years. <laughs> Your evidence? I just know. Well, that's not enough evidence, Harry. I suggest you go back to your dormitories. All of you. I have a love-hate relationship with Snape. Like, I thought he was bad, and then he was helpful, and now him bad again? I don't understand what he's doing. Attractive. Attractive. <gasps> Harry. You know, she's got nice skin. Skin. Skin? mine has got nice skin. Oh! Oh, I hate that pretty boy was invited to the dinner party. Ah, Miss Weasley. Ginny was invited, but Ron wasn't? Oh, Harry stood for the lady. Ah! Oh, don't be sucking on your pinky looking at her. This is weird. Admiring your hourglass. That is a cool hourglass. 
Did Voldemort ever make the shelf, sir? Oh, <laughs> Horace said, um, hmm. It's only natural you should want to know more. You could cut the tension with a knife. Why are people picking on Ron? I think Harry enjoyed dessert. Hermione, shh. I'm resigning. After the day's What, match. she's pretty, she's into you. Why are you stressed about it? Hello, everyone. Lily what? Or Luna? Is that why you put something in his cup? <gasps> Is it a tonic? Luna, shh. Everybody out here spilling each other's secrets. Wait a second, did Harry use his liquid luck on Ron just then? Like, I hope it's his liquid luck. Oh, get into it, Ron. Hermione, you have to admit, it's still good, though. Okay, now that he has a potion in his system, are they going to piss test him? <laughs> get into it, Ron. This is fun for you. You used to confirm this, John. That was different. Oh, is it? I think it's a double standard, actually, Hermione. Great heavens. Placebo effect working in multiple ways. Now, Harry, I'm not saying do your friend dirty, but Ron's making out with another girl. You need to go comfort her, Mimi. When you see Dean with Ginny. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, it got worse! <laughs> I don't blame her, honestly. But at the same time, y'all haven't talked about it. Y'all weren't exclusive. Yeah, that's why y'all should talk. As much as I love Harry and Ginny together, or even Harry and Luna, I still hope that Harry and Hermione come together somehow. Wow. Whoa. Anyway, it's you we've got to worry about. Hermione better not pull some shit like Draco or something. Because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. <laughs> Harry! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. At least not while awake. I sleep fog, you see. Okay. What a weirdo. Love her. What a weirdo. It's not a mirror, it's a door. A disappearing spell. Okay, a spell that puts it somewhere and then can bring it back from that somewhere. Okay, okay Neville! Puberty hit him like a truck. I get one horribly bad breath. Oh, second thoughts. Well, why? Okay, I understand you were trying to like make Ron jealous, but like, was it worth it? <laughs> hey, Snape. <laughs> Welcome to the secret party. He claims to have been invited to your party. Okay, okay, I was- Oh. So where is Dumbledore really? This is my moment. Harry's hearing all of this. Oh my god. This is awkward. Big awkward. So do you stop me? My lips are getting chapped. <laughs> You're blinded by hatred. I'm not. Yes, you are. Wow. Of people, if we start fighting amongst ourselves, we're doomed. I see where he's coming from, but at the same time, we are six years into this. Don't you think it's time for us to just trust Harry when he says something's going on? Don't you trust me? No. You got a love potion in there? Just a <laughs> If Dumbledore's traveling, then that's news to the Ministry, but... But where's he going? Had to slip inside and disappear for an hour or two. So that's where the apple disappeared to? Like, do you disappear to other disappearing cabinets? <laughs> Okay, interesting move to make, but I'm here for it. Yeah, go kiss a little. Oh! What magic bullshit's happening now? Oh, oh shit, the Death Eaters. Okay, that's way more important than a kiss. Harry, you know good and damn well this is a trick to trap you. That scary guy. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Are you kidding me? That's their whole house! Like, they live there! You have to realize who you are, Harry. I know who I am, Hermione. Hermione, is this the time for a scolding? I don't think so, baby. Excuse me, I have to go and vomit. <laughs> I respect it. Dumbledore, I don't know if I want to know any more of your memories. I was in the library the other night, in the restricted section. Of course. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Why is it so muffled when he talked about it? Confused? Yeah. I'd be surprised if you weren't. Okay, good. Today found his true memory. I don't know him that well, sir. Well, Dumbledore just said any way you can. And you're a wizard. So I'm gonna let you put two and two together. Don't forget your rat tail. Yeah, I'd hate for you to forget your rat tail, girl. It isn't the Prince of Potions himself. 
Speaking of princes, who's the half-blood prince? Are there some kinds of magic you're not allowed to teach us? Oh, interesting. Here we go. I think your question better be posed to Professor Snape. No thanks. There's no light without the dark, so it is with magic. Myself, I... Oh, that's good. Smart. Is that what you told Tom Riddle, sir, when he came asking questions? Oh, jeez. You gonna throw the name out just like that? Just like that? Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? See? You gave it away, Harry. You gave it away. You can't tell me Ron ain't high as shit in this movie. He's high <laughs> on a love potion. That's what this is. Milda Vane. Okay, very funny. <gasps> She finally tried to drug Harry, and because Four. Ron ate it, it, now he's in love with her! I had other intentions for this, but I think given the circumstances... What was your other intentions? I want to know about that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh lord! Ron! What? This is scary! Meanwhile, Ron's dying. The professor's not helping. What the hell is going on here? Why is the professor not helping? Hey, Ron. Um, didn't expect that to happen. Actually, I had intended to give it as a gift myself. To you, Headmaster. Oh my god! Poison, you dark dimbo! Oh, a cat bite! Oh, oh, he's asking for Hermione. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. That wasn't a good reaction to have, but that's how I felt. Where'd the white bird go? Draco. Don't hurt that bird for no reason. I have my answer! So disappearing cabinets do disappear to the other disappearing cabinets. Oh, great heavens, but it's dead. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, them standing like this. Uh, I think I figured out who cursed her. Draco's not a very good villain. He's too obvious. <laughs> you got some big feelings, Draco? Y'all gonna get in trouble for fighting? Ooh. Oh, there's blood. There's blood? Did he hurt him? I thought maybe he'd just, like, freeze him or something. What? What? Wow, Snape, you didn't do a very good job. Is this for real? We need to hide the Half-Blood Princess book, including you. What? How are you gonna hide something from yourself, Ginny? At least that one came back alive. You never know what you'll find up here. Like a love connection. For real? I didn't think this was gonna be the moment she makes a move. Oh, great heavens. Get into it? Yes, okay, all right. Oh my God, Jenny. Smooth as boy. Smooth as Are you supposed to drink the whole damn thing? I feel like just a drop will do you. Hagrid, I feel it's it's the place to be tonight. Listen, you're the one that took the potion. I trust you. How did you get out of the castle, Harry? Oh, through the front door, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, what? The eyes, I reckon, they unnerve some folk. Me, I am some folk. Oh, I would not oh, be good. Oh, absolutely not. Potion. Absolutely not. Spider Funeral was not where I thought this movie was going today. Oh, we've had a couple drinks with Hagrid. We getting the truth tonight. I once had a fish. Francis is very dear to me. Listen, you ain't gotta be a wizard to have a truth serum. A couple of drinks, you gonna get the truth from somebody. Flower petal had come from a lily, your mother. What? Oh, he's doing it! Oh, this worked out so well. I'm so happy. I am beyond excited to find out what this is. Also, when did Dumbledore get back? Where did he travel to? Did I miss that somewhere? I beg your pardon? Horcrux. Horcrux? One splits one's soul and hides part of it in an object. Oh. In other words, you cannot die. Oh. This is all hypothetical, isn't it, Tom? If you gotta ask that question, my guy, it's not. Well, Dumbledore, what you gotta say about this? What does this mean? Even more difficult to destroy. Oh my god. What was that neck twist? You need to shave, my friend. That's that's rich coming from you, Dumbledore. You must obey every command I give you. Now you already know Harry ain't gonna do that. Or something's gonna go wrong and he's gonna have to figure it out for himself. Being me has its privileges. <laughs> that's really funny. Whoa, Dumbledore with the shank. 
Your blood's much more precious than mine. Well, especially when it's the blood that's coming out of that old crusty hand. I am big stressed. I haven't said anything in a second because I'm scared. The only question is how do we get there? And what's hiding in that water? You know something's in that water. Use the force, Dumbledore. A chain? A boat? But what's in the water? So let me tell you what I don't trust. That boat, this cave, that chain. You gotta drink that whole entire puddle? Not knowing what it's gonna do to you? I don't like this game anymore, you guys. I don't like this movie anymore. I'm stressed. He's gonna fall back into the water and whatever's in that hiding in that water, go get him. It'll stop, buddy. It'll stop. One way or another. You might die, but it'll stop eventually. Water. Well, lucky for you, Double Door, we're surrounded by it. <laughs> it's too quiet. It's too quiet. I'm so stressed. Oh, let me tell you where I'm not gonna be in a dark cave. Surrounded by water. Picking up a possessed necklace? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What is this? Who are these people? Oh my heavens! Dumbledore needs water and his wand! We got fucking golems coming out of the water! So is one of the horcruxes, is it one is it um the cane from Draco's dad that now Draco has? Snape, how can you stand by and let this happen? I don't understand Snape. That's how they got in. Oh my god. The disappearing cabinet. Good evening, Draco. Oh my god. How do you know what I am? I've done things that would shock you. For the approval of your father who's now in jail. Doesn't have this stuff. Just like his father. Oh, shitting on his daddy now. Snape! Oh, I'm confused and stressed. Avada Kedavra. Are you kidding me? Are you. Are you kidding me? You big proud of yourself, Draco? Now, I mean, Draco didn't kill. Oh my god! What? Yeah, he trusted you, Snape, you piece of shit. Snape! Ah! Oh! My god! Why do I kind of want to cry about it? Am I about to cry? Am I about to cry? I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. You meant a great deal to him. Stop. Stop it. I'm a cry. Stop it. <laughs> the painting. Stop it. Hopefully that's just his painting sleeping and not like his painting reflecting his death. I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. Who? R.A.B. Who's R.A.B.? The other black brother! Oh, they have the real Horcrux. So, uh, uh, they talked about him earlier, right? I don't know where that'll lead me. Let you and Ron know where I am. Well, now I know why the last movie's in two. I know that I guess him and Ginny are official now, but I still want them two together real bad. His phoenix! Harry, do you get to have his phoenix now? Is it like passed down? I guess not. I guess it just flies off into the sunset. Okay. That's it? We gotta talk about it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. As much as I have loved the Harry Potter franchise, this little adventure that we're on. When I opened up this movie and I saw that it was two and a half hours long, I was like, this is the longest a Harry Potter film has been yet. I'm like, geez Louise, this is so long. What could be going on? I'm gonna be honest, the first like hour, hour and a half, honestly, even two hours, was all about the students and their little love stories, which I know, intro Ashley, that's a different person than who I am now. Intro Ashley, I said she wanted a love story. And I, boy, how did I get that and more. I did not mean I wanted two hours worth of love stories. Let me tell you something. All these love stories and Dumbledore died. I did not know Dumbledore died. Uh, I was this close. Y'all want to know something? Is I'm currently filming some movies out of order. And I did my makeup so I could watch the easy movie. You know, the ones that aren't going to make me cry first. Watch them first. And then watch the crime movie. 
I didn't know Dumbledore was gonna die. So I had to keep my makeup on so I can watch the movie that's supposed to make me cry. Do you see my my issue here? Do you see where... I cannot believe Dumbledore's dead. And Dumbledore did all that work in the tunnel just for the Horcrux to be wrong. A fake. So now, Harry's gotta go back and find five more Horcruxes. R.A.B. I can't... Earlier in the movie, there was a picture with Long... What's his name? What's the new professor's name? Stinky Bottom. Whatever the hell his name is. And he had a picture and he was like, I had his brother and I can't remember it's talking about Sirius. He was like, from what I understand, you were close to Sirius. I had his brother and I think the brother's name started with an R, but I can't remember what it was. So I'm kind of thinking R.A.B. is Sirius's brother. And honestly, that would be really wonderful if it was because, you know, Harry felt like Sirius was the only family he had left, especially now that Dumbledore is gone. So honestly, that, re that like, like, to come together with Sirius's brother would be like real good. What is Snape doing? What is Snape doing? So, uh, but the, the unbreakable oath, protect Draco. And then when Snape was underneath the thing and Draco was like, hmm, and Snape was there with Harry, but was like, shh. And I was like, oh, so Snape's like an undercover cop with Draco and the, and the Death Eaters, right? But then he killed Dumbledore. And he's the Half-Blood Prince. What does that even mean? What does Half-Blood Prince mean? What does that mean? And you know, this might be something that the books talk about and the movie just doesn't. And I'm supposed to go into this having read the books. Well, I haven't. So, I don't know if this is something that gets elaborated on in the last movie, which honestly so much, so much happened here. It makes sense that the last film is technically, I guess, two parts. I don't know if they have different titles or whatever. I think Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince is my favorite movie. So good. Five out of five stars for this. I cannot wait to continue and finish this series. The last movie is gonna follow an adventure and I'm big excited. And it might bring him back to Hogwarts, it might not. I don't know, but we'll find out. Regardless, I am excited. Five out of five stars for The Half-Blood Prince. I cannot wait to continue. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Please like, subscribe, stick around. I don't know anything that's coming up for March, not for members, not from polls. So if editing Ashley knows, she'll put it here. If not, like, subscribe, stick around so we can both be surprised. Links to social media down below if you want my friend outside the YouTube verse, and I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye. Forgot to do that. <laughs>